Okay, so here's some more trig identities. My paper just... Okay, so it's pretty clear the left-hand side is more involved than the right-hand side. Um, so I'm going to change this into sines and cosines. So co cosecant is 1 over the sine theta minus cotan is cosine over sine. Since I have a common denominator, I can just rewrite it as the cosine and theta over sine theta. And here's a no-no. It looks like it'd be a great idea if I could just cross multiply, I would be all done. Unfortunately, that's illegal, so you cannot cross multiply, so don't do that. Okay, so um, essentially now, notice I have a one plus cosine in the denominator. I don't have a one plus cosine down here. So I'm gonna multiply it by a one plus cosine theta over one plus cosine theta. I meant to do that in red, but I forgot. So let's multiply this numerator. I get one plus, excuse me, one minus cosine squared theta. I'm not gonna distribute this denominator because I wanna keep that one plus cosine. So one plus cosine theta times sine theta. One minus cosine squared theta is sine squared theta all over one plus cosine theta times sine theta. I have two sine squareds. I have sine squared, excuse me, over sine, so one of those sines cancels out, so I'm just left with sine theta over one plus cosine theta, which is the same as sine theta over one plus cosine theta. So the more complicated side, again, is the left-hand side. So I'm gonna get a common denominator, so let me just get a nice rosy red. So I'm gonna make this one here, one plus sine theta over one plus sine theta. And then the rest of the problem stays the same. Cosine squared theta all over one plus sine theta. So I can add these two numerators. I get one plus sine theta minus cosine squared theta all over one plus sine theta. This one and that cosine squared, I'm gonna put those two together for obvious reasons in a second. So one minus cosine squared is sine squared theta plus sine theta all over one plus sine theta. And you'll notice if I take out a sine theta of the numerator, I get sine theta plus one. Let me move down a little bit here. Where's my cursor? Over one plus sine theta those two cancel, so I'm just left with sine theta equals sine theta. I win. So again, more complicated side is the left-hand side. I need to have, uh, I have two fractions here with unknown, uh, different denominators, so I need to get some common denominators. So I'm gonna rewrite the first term as one minus sine theta over cosine theta. And I need one minus sine, so one minus sine theta over one minus sine theta. And this term over here needs a cosine theta over cosine theta. So this is plus, and then the original is cosine theta theta over one minus sine theta. So I'm gonna multiply, I'll just rewrite this as one minus sine theta squared plus cosine squared theta all over one minus sine theta times cosine theta. Again, I didn't distribute this cosine here because I just need to have a secant in the denominator, so I'm gonna just leave this cosine here. Let's multiply this one minus cosine squared. It's one minus two sine theta plus sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta all over one minus sine theta times cosine theta. Hopefully you recognize that this is one, so I get one minus two sine theta plus one all over one minus sine theta cosine theta. Let me move it down a little bit. So one plus one is two. I get two minus two sine theta all over running out of room. So I move my original problem down here. So I have one minus sine theta times cosine theta. Take out a two, so I get one minus sine theta all over one minus sine theta times cosine theta. 
these two cancel, I get 2 over cosine theta, which is the same as 2 secant theta. So we're done. Okay, so this is probably the easiest one of all of them. Um, I'm going to change this uh, left-hand side to sines and cosines, so really it's just this term here. So that's 1 over cosine theta all over 1 over sine theta. And this is sine theta over cosine theta. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to manipulate this. This 1 over cosine theta is the, excuse me, 1 over cosine theta over 1 over sine theta is the same as 1 over cosine theta divided by 1 over sine theta. So that's the same as 1 over cosine theta times sine theta over 1. So really this is just equal to sine theta over cosine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta, which is 2 sine theta over cosine theta which is 2 tan theta. So this one doesn't matter which side we work with. Um, they're equally ugly. Um, so let's change everything to sines and cosines, and hopefully nice things happen. So this cosecant is 1 over sine theta minus 1, all over cosine theta over sine theta. And if I multiply by sine theta over sine theta, uh, this, if I multiply those two, I get uh, I get 1, excuse me, 1 minus sine theta all over cosine theta. And I want to have a 1 plus cosecant in the denominator. So let's see if I can't make that. Let's just multiply by cosecant theta plus 1 cosecant theta plus 1. So my numerator, if I distribute that, I get cosecant theta minus sine theta cosecant theta plus 1 minus sine theta all over cosecant theta plus 1. I want to leave that there because that's what I need times cosine theta. Hopefully we notice that um, 1 minus, excuse me, sine theta times cosecant theta is 1 plus 1, so therefore that's 0. So I'm left with cosecant theta minus, minus sine theta all over cosecant theta plus 1 times cosine theta. Okay, so I'm going to go over here so I have a little more room and I move the problem down here. So I'm going to write cosecant is 1 over sine theta minus sine theta all over cosecant theta plus 1. Notice that I want to keep that cosecant theta plus 1 times cosine theta. I need a common denominator, so I'm going to multiply this one by sine theta over sine theta. So I get 1 over sine theta minus sine squared theta all over sine theta over cosecant theta plus 1 times cosine theta. I have a common denominator, so I can add the numerators, or in this case, subtract all over sine theta. My numerator right here is cosine squared theta. And the reason I did that is because I know I needed to have cotan. So I need to have cosine over sine. So I do, except I have this extra cosine, which hopefully I can cancel out in a second. So finally, this cosine squared theta over sine theta is divided by cosecant theta plus 1 times cosine theta. So this is cosine squared theta over sine squared theta times 1 over this mess. Well, one of these cosines cancels out with that cosine squared. So I have cosine theta over sine theta times 1 over cosecant theta plus 1. This is equal to cotan theta over 1 
times 1 over cosecant theta plus 1, which is cotan theta over cosecant theta. So this one had involved a lot of different uh, techniques here. Probably the biggest one is just perseverance, as long as I stuck to my algebra and kept using the idea of common denominators. Um, and then um, dividing fractions, uh, it worked out. Here's the easiest one of the day. Uh, I need to have cotans up front, up top, and cotans on the bottom. Um, so I'm just going to multiply by cotan theta over cotan, cotan theta on the left-hand side. So this just, if I distribute this, I get cotan theta plus cotan theta tan theta all over cotan theta minus cotan theta tan theta and hopefully everybody recognizes that these are reciprocal functions so when you multiply them you get one so cotan theta plus one cotan theta minus one I'm done so as, as opposed to the previous problem this one's pretty straightforward okay so our more interesting side is the left hand side. I'm going to change everything to sines and cosines. So I have 1 over cosine theta minus sine theta over cosine theta quantity squared. So I have a common denominator so I can subtract so I'm going to square the numerator. I'll just rewrite it as 1 minus sine squared over cosine squared, so this is 1 minus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta all over cosine squared theta. Note that I need to have a 1 minus sine in the numerator, um, and so, so I need 1 minus sine in the numerator, and I need a 1 plus sine in the denominator. Well, I know this cosine squared, I can rewrite it as 1 minus sine squared. So let's rewrite that. So 1 minus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta. This is all over 1 minus sine squared theta. I'm going to factor the denominator. So I get 1 minus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta all over 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta. Note that I have this 1 minus sine and 1 plus sine. I need to have a 1 minus sign in the numerator, so it w wasn't smart of me to multiply out this 1 minus sign. So I'm going to change this numerator back into this 1 minus sign quantity squared. 1 minus sign squared all over 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta. So one of these cancels out, and that cancels out. I got 1 minus sine theta, 1 plus sine theta, and we're all set.